What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lunatic Froggy. Today, we're going to be discussing fibromyalgia. We're going to be looking at a couple different websites um, and having a personal discussion with what I go through. One of the first sites that we're going to go on to is the Mayo Clinic. The overview of fibromyalgia is a disorder caused characterized by widespread muscular toll pain accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory, and mood issues, aka we're crabby because we don't get sleep. Researchers believe that fibromyalgia amplifies painful sensations by affecting the way your brain and spinal cord process painful and non-painful signals. Symptoms often being after the event of such a physical trauma, surgery, infection, or significant psychological stress. In other cases, symptoms gradually accumulate over time with no single triggering event. Women are more likely to develop fibromyalgia than men are. Many people who have fibromyalgia also have tension headaches, TMJ, irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety, and depression. While there is no cure for, for fibromyalgia, a variety of medications can help control symptoms. Exercise, relaxation, and stress reduced measures may also help. May. Keywords in there. May. Doesn't mean that it's going to, but it may help. The primary symptoms of fibromyalgia include widespread pain, the pain associated with fibromy fibromyalgia, God, that word's hard to say, often is described as a constant dull ache that has lasted for at least three months to be considered widespread. The pain must occur on Basically, your whole body. People with fibromyalgia often wake tired, even though they reported sleeping for long periods of time. Sleep is often disturbed by pain, and many patients with fibromyalgia have sleeping disorders as restless leg syndrome or sleep apnea. A symptom commonly referred to as fibro fog. Impairs the ability to focus, pay attention, and concentrate on mental tasks. So basically, if you're asking somebody who has fibromyalgia to be like, I need you to do X, Y, Z, they might get done with X, Y, and then they're going to forget what Z is. Fibromyalgia often coexists with other conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome, migraine, and other types of headaches, intestinal cysts, cystis, or painful bladder syndrome, temp temporal, te temporal by, yeah, the joint disorder, anxiety, depression, Postural tachycardia syndrome. Sorry, I can't say all these words. Some of them are a little bit of a pain in my ass. Many researchers believe that repetitive nerve stimulation causes the brain and spinal cord of people with fibromyalgia to change. This change involves an abnormal increase in the level of certain chemicals in the brain that signal pain. In addition to the brain's pain receptors seem to develop a sort of memory of the pain and become sensitized, meaning they can overreact to painful and non-painful signals. Basically, you walk on a Lego, you feel that Lego for a couple hours. We walk on a Lego, we can feel that, we feel like we just walked on hot coals for about all day. Um, what leads to those changes include genetics, infections, physical or emotional events, such as uh, car accident, psychological stress is also a trigger 
Now, if you go over to, uh, um, the National Institute of Arthritis and Muscular and Skin Disease, it will tell you that chronic widespread pain throughout the body or multiple sites. Pain is often felt in the arms, legs, head, chest, abdomen, back, and buttocks. People often describe it as aching, burning, or throbbing. Fatigue or over, an overwhelming feeling of being tired, trouble sleeping, muscle and joint stiffness, tenderness to the touch, numbness or tingling of the arms and legs, problem with concentrating, thinking clearly, and memory, some call, uh, sometimes called fibril fog, which we read on the Mayo Clinic. Heightened sensitivity to light, noise, odors, and temperatures. Digestive issues that, such as bloating and constipation. Now, if you want to go to WebMD... It tells you that doctors aren't sure what causes it, but when you have fibromyalgia, you may be sensitive to pain than other pe- more sensitive to pain than other people are. Some study- studies suggest there are there may be changes in the way your brain and other parts of your nervous system send and receive pain signals again. Just like the Mayo Clinic, it does run in families. Yes, it does. Um, You're a woman or were assigned female at birth. You're middle age or older. You have mental health or mood disorders like anxiety and depression. You were physically or emotionally mm, or have PTSD. Um, You receive... You rarely exercise. Other family members have it. You may be more likely to get fibromyalgia if you have rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis. Sympathetic systematic lupus. If you have lupus, you may have fibromyalgia. Um, Back pain that doesn't go away. Irritable bowel syndrome. Yes, I skipped one, but that's because I know I can't say it. Fibromyalgia symptoms, muscular pain, burning, twitching, and tightness, pain in your arms and legs, feeling like your body is aching, burning, and throbbing, low pain in the threshold, low pain threshold, or tender points when you're touched. Draining fatigue or overwhelming tiredness. Trouble concentrating it all says the same thing. No matter which one you go to, it all says the same thing. Except for if you go to medical news today, it will tell you that pain throughout your body, particularly in your back or neck, extreme sensitivity to touch, light, smoke, and certain foods. Since stiffness once staying in the same position for long periods, muscle spasms, poor quality of sleep, fatigue, trouble with memory... That's the same. Slow or confused speech, frequent headaches or migraines, irritable bowel syndrome. The only thing that this has that the other ones don't have is the muscle spasms. And the reason that this has this, that one's a very important one is because there are a lot of people that don't understand that you can get muscle spasms from fibromyalgia. Now, coming from someone who has fibromyalgia, I would clearly like to state that it hurts. I can be touched. Like, you'll see my son come up and massage my shoulders. And he'll just gently do it. But it feels like a deep tissue when he's just rubbing his hand, you know, going like this. It feels like a deep tissue massage. It hurts um i can stub my toe and it will literally feel like my toe is broken heat sensitivity is what i feel 
and cold. When we are cold, you're going to know it because we're going to move different. It's going to hurt more. You're going to see us pop a lot more <laughs> ibuprofen. Um, doctors like to say, well, take an anti-inflammatory, an ibuprofen or aspirin. Here's the thing. It's not an inflammatory disease it is a nerve reciprocal disease it is where our nerves are screaming i'm in pain i'm in pain i'm in pain when in reality you're not in, we're well we are in pain but we didn't do nothing to cause the pain we literally just was born and existed that is why Knowing what fibromyalgia is, is a very important thing. Because there are a lot of people out there that suffer with fibromyalgia. I am one of them. Lunatic Mom is one of them. We are not being lazy when we can't get out of bed. Because it hurts to move. We are not being lazy when literally we're crying and asking you to move our leg. Because it's locked stiff. We are not late being lazy when we just want five minutes to ourselves. It means we are either overstimulated from sounds. We are in mass amounts of pain every day. Imagine living in constant pain for the rest of your life. Do foods trigger it? Yes, it does. Gluten is a big one that triggers it. When I eat more gluten, I am in more pain. When I don't eat a lot of gluten, I'm not in that much pain. But that pain is still always there. That pain sensitivity is always there. Almost every food that you can possibly think of triggers our fibromyalgia. We're not doing it to get out of work. We're not doing it because we don't want to work. We're not doing it because we want to be waited on hand and foot. We are doing it because we are in pain. It hurts. And people don't, don't understand that. There is a lot of people, a lot of people out there that would rather say, oh, well, that didn't hurt you. How do you know what hurt me? I already live every day in pain. So you you add more pain to that, it's going to hurt worse. Except for it's going to be to the point, I personally, I am throwing up. When I'm in a lot of pain, I get really sick. And when I get really sick, I get really sick. So... Pain, added pain onto the pain that I'm already in makes my stomach ill, which then makes me ill for days. Um, when it's storming and lunatic mom and dad can confirm because lunatic mom feels this, when it's storming, our body system knows. We are literally you know what, <laughs> I don't want to do nothing today, I hurt, I want to go to bed, and it's because of the storms and the pressure change that are coming through. So, I have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia since I was 24 years old. Has the pain gotten better? No. It has gotten worse. Has my feelings of the pain gotten better? No, it's gotten worse. I live with this on a daily basis. Lunatic mom lives with this on a daily basis. Many Americans 
and non-Americans, many human beings live with this on a daily basis. So if somebody is telling you, I'm in constant pain, it hurts constantly, please tell them. Give them the, tell them to look up fibromyalgia, look up lupus, look up a couple of different disorders that is causing mass pain constantly, and go to a doctor. Just so that way you can have the diagnosis and you know what it is, because it don't go away. I wake up every morning, I'm tired. I want to go back to bed. I go to bed every night wishing the pain would stop so I could sleep. So when I get tired and I get crabby, it's because it's a bad fibromyalgia day. Do I get to blame all my stuff on fibro? No. Do I still have to go out there and do what I got to do to live a life? Yes. But does it take me longer to do things than it does other people? Yes. Because the pain is continuously there. But I wanted to tell you guys about fibromyalgia. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to learn about. I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.